Okay. So our first word going in the first section is variable uh, factors that can change in an experiment. Uh, so no matter what experiment you do, there is always going to be variables in that experiment. Uh, the variables uh, are anything that changes. And so there's some experiments, you don't have things that stay the same, you don't have to worry about those. But anything that can change is a variable and you have to be concerned about it. We'll talk about why here in a little bit. But an example could be if you were measuring uh, how much energy someone had after uh, sleeping for eight hours, uh, a variable could be uh, the amount of energy that they do have. That's something that will change person to person. Um, how well they sleep those eight hours would change from person to person. That's what I would be a variable. Uh, what type of bed you would uh, sleep on, uh, where you sleep at, uh, things like that are all things that could change in that experiment, and so they are variable. So anytime you're doing an experiment, you always have to try and think about what things can change in my experiment, and those are your variables. Everyone have this one down? Okay. Okay, so the next one is a certain type of variable, independent variable. We're going to put that in section three. So independent variable is a variable that is purposely changed to test the hypothesis. Um, so you don't have to worry about the parentheses being used. You call it something different. You're just going to change the variable now. Uh, so don't worry about the parentheses. <coughs> So, in an experiment, the independent variable is the most important. In our lollipop lab, uh, the independent variable that we did was licking the Tootsie Pop. Uh, so that's, we wanted to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop, and in order to test that, we needed to lick it. And so licking the, the Tootsie Pop was our independent variable. Uh, that's going to change the result uh, of the answer. How we lick it uh, will get us a different answer. So the variable is changed uh, to test the hypothesis. But I'll give you another example uh, besides for the Tootsie Pop. Um, if we wanted to see a kid's reaction to sugar, uh, the independent variable in that one would be how much sugar do we give them. Uh, so we could change that. We could give them 5 grams of sugar. We could give them 20 grams of sugar. We could give them 100 grams of sugar. And uh, do that different change and test the same kid every time. And so we'd be changing it on purpose to see if sugar actually uh, affects them. Uh, some kids, when you hit that 100 grams of sugar, they might start getting really uh, excited and active. Other kids might not do anything. But the independent variable, the thing that we are changing, would be how much sugar we're giving them. Uh, and uh, so in any experiment you do, whatever thing you're changing to test a specific thing is the independent variable. The thing in that uh, the thing in that example that we'd be testing is how they react to sugar. But we can't just do one uh, amount of sugar. You have to do lots of different types or amounts of sugar because with just one amount, you don't really get to see the full scope of uh, how it affects them. Because if you were to give them five grams and then they're really hyper, and then you give them a hundred grams and they're just the same amount of hyperness, then it might not be the sugar that's actually affecting it. It might be something else. So I don't know how well I explained that. So does anyone have a question about independent variable? No one's confused on what it is? Okay. 
Is that a question or just stressing? Is that just stressing or a question? Okay. All right. We'll see. We'll practice it. And so we'll see. Um, dependent variable. Okay. Uh, so every every experiment that we do will have the independent variable and it will have the dependent variable. Uh, so this one we're going to go on the next page and put it in section 5. Uh, the dependent variable is the factor that may change in response to the manipulated variable, uh, which I need to change that, uh, change manipulated to independent. Change manipulated to independent. So dependent variable is the factor that may change in response to the independent variable. So in our example, our experiment where we're seeing how states react to sugar, the dependent variable would be their reaction. That's something that we aren't controlling, we're seeing how it is affected. The thing that we are controlling is the independent variable and that's how much sugar we give them. Then the dependent variable, the reaction or the thing that's being changed because of what we did would be how those kids react. Uh, we'll be talking about independent and dependent variables a decent amount in, uh, throughout 6th grade science. And we'll be using it even more in 7th grade science and even more after that. So these two words become more and more used as you go through science. Uh, and they're always very important because they're always um, the center of your experiment. So you always need to make sure of whatever experiment you're doing, you understand what's your independent variable and what's your dependent variable. Does everyone have this written down? Anyone still working on writing it down? Okay. Uh, did anyone still need to write down the last one? Did I skip too fast? I'm going to give you a couple minutes, and so since I'm going to pause for a couple minutes, I'm going to stop this recording, and I'm going to come around here real quick for a second.